Welcome to the armadillo mods you didn't know that you needed. The armadillo, one of the most controversial mobs ever added to Minecraft. People don't like its color, people don't like its eyes, people don't like how it works. Now over time, after brushing an armadillo, you end up with the armadillo scoot, which can be crafted into wolf armor, which was meant to be used to protect your wolf. Now as of right now, Minecraft Bedrock Edition, it does not even protect from creeper explosions. So a lot of people have writ this off and considered it useless. Well, that is until we have an alternative option. We currently know that the armadillo doesn't drop anything at all. In an alternative universe, you have to kill wolves in order to give the armadillo armadillo armor. Now, when you kill a wolf, it will drop cooked food but it will also drop something very new, which is called a wolf pelt. Now you are going to need a whole bunch of these in order to craft yourself the armadillo armor. Here is the recipe you are going to need in order to craft yourself the armadillo armor. Inside the crafting table, it's basically a H and you'll end up with this. Now when you place this on an armadillo, it automatically becomes tamed and it will follow you. It will defend you. It will guard you, and it will kill for you. We need to get an army of armadillos. We're in a savannah biome. I think I know where some of these guys might have spawned. I mean, we found a couple of them, right? Let's get all of these guys tamed. A few moments later... Just like what a wolf would do previously, the armadillo will follow you everywhere you go. And if you don't like something, they will bring it down in a matter of seconds. Now things start to get a little bit serious when you start summoning mobs such as ravages. I've never felt so protected in my whole entire life than I have with an army of armadillos. <laughs> this ravager is dead. Ravages can do quite a bit of damage to your army of armadillos. So if you feed them raw beef, they will be healed and ready to go into battle once again. In a 1v1 situation, the iron golem still wins. It starts to get a lot more interesting the more armadillos you add. Now when the armadillo does die, it will go ahead and drop the armadillo armor. So let's try two of these. And see if these guys can bring down the iron golem together. It stays focused on one of them. Still haven't managed to... Oh, we did. We cracked it. We've cracked it. Get them. Okay, we're going to need some more. We're going to need some more of these guys. You're a little baby. You can't do the babies. Go and get them. I think three might, might be okay here. Come on. Bring down this iron golem. While one is getting attacked and is the bait, the other dude two can just attack the eye golem. Once you have tamed an armadillo with the armadillo armor, as you can see, it is wearing the wolf's fur. The wolf's eyes have been gouged out. Now you can make it sit and also make it stand. Now, if the armadillo does die by, let's say, something like an iron golem, the armadillo armor will actually drop on the floor. Now, in a 1v1 situation, the armadillo really doesn't stand a chance. And the iron golem is still going to win. Now, from my testing, you are going to need four of these guys, or maybe five, to bring down an iron golem. The more you have, the better it is. So, the iron golem will stay focused on this armadillo. Meanwhile, the other three can start to attack this and will actually eventually kill the iron golem. He's cracked completely. I think he's got one more crack. Come on, armadillos. There we go. Unfortunately, he still perished. Doesn't matter if there's two or three or four creepers because, again, the armadillos will just attack it. 
And these guys do not die straight away. They're so much more useful compared to the wolf and the wolf armor.